Okay, I will write first 10 numbers on the board. S0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the first 10 numbers. We introduce this as one digit numbers. What are they? One digit numbers. Why do we call this as one digit numbers? Because there is only one place. I will explain. Here can you see an abacus on the board? Okay. Right. I will take the first number 0. Uh, when we add 0, when we put 0 in front of a number, they doesn't give a value to the number. If we put 0 after the number, it add a value to the number. We will take another number here. This number, if we put 0 before the number, not adding a value. If you put 0 after the number, it gives a value to the number. Okay. Then, this abacus represents 0 because no value presents here. When we take number 1, how are we going to represent number 1 on the abacus? Number 1 falls under 1th or unique place. Right? That's why we call this as one digit numbers. Only one place is there. Right? Okay, we'll take number 2. What are we going to do? We have to add 2 rings here. How many rings here? 2 rings. Then the abacus represent number 2. When we take number 3, that means we have to add another ring here. Then the abacus represents number. Yes? Yeah, three rings are on one place or unique place. Then abacus represent number three. When it comes to number four, it's like this. Abacus represents number four. Number five, there are five rings there. Then we can represent the abacus as number five. Number six, there are six rings there. Then we can write S number 6. Now look at the one place. How many rings are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then the abacus represent number 7. We will move to number 8. We can draw one more ring here. Then the abacus represent number 8. When it comes to number 9, Okay, then the abacus represent number 9. Okay, uh, now the one place is full. We can't add more rings here. Only 9 rings there. Then after number 9, when we add 1, the number becomes 10. Shall we spread number 10? When we spread number 10, number 10 is a two-digit number. Why? There are two places, one place and the tenth place. Here, yeah? these numbers, they are all one-digit numbers, only one place is there. Here, two-digit number because there are two places, one place and the tenth place. How many are there in the tenth place? One. One means one-tenth. How many are there in one place? Zero. Then, how are we going to represent here? Uh, now, in the abacus, number 9 representing the abacus. When we add one more to here, what will happen? We can't add more rings here. Then what will happen? It all jump to 10th place. And what will happen here? Now, all the values jump to 10th place. Here the value is 0. Now we will see what number represent this abacus now. 
look at the abacus under 10th place 1 10 that means 1 under 1 place 0 now the abacus represent 10 number 10 yeah when we spread the number 10th place only 1 and 1 place 0 right then if uh, we'll put more rings we'll add more rings here okay one how many rings are we going to add two three four five six seven eight nine okay then i added nine more rings to one place one two three four five six seven eight nine now we'll see how this abacus represents shall we write the number name yes 10th place how many times one one place how many ones nine number 19 represent by this abacus number 19 shall we spread number 19 when we spread number 19 there are two places 10th place and the one place 10th place how many tens? 1 10 and how many ones? 9 1 into 9 9 then we look at the abacus here how many tens? 1 10 and how many ones? 9 that is number 19 okay now we will see if we add 1 to number 19 next number will be 20 then what will happen can we add uh, one more ring here can't if we add one more ring now number 19 is here if we add one more ring it all jump here making as another 10 and what will happen here it's like a game right now that is zero Shall we write the number name that represented by this abacus now? How many tens? Two tens. How many ones? Zero. Now number 20. Number 20 represented by this abacus. Shall we spread number 20? Okay. Here the one place and the tenth place. How many are there in the tenth place? Two. Two tens means 20 and zero. We will see here. Two twenty and zero. This is number 20 okay then we'll again add another nine rings here one two three four five six seven eight nine it's like a game right you will enjoy by this lesson yes make a do maths as a hobby okay one two three four five six seven eight nine now can you write the number name that represented by this abacus? How many tens are there? Two tens. How many ones are there? Nine ones. What is the number that represented by this abacus? Number 29. 29. If we add another one to 29, the number will be 30. Okay. Shall we represent number 30 in the abacus? Shall we spread number 30? When we spread number 30, yeah, that is a two digit number. How many tens are there? Three tens. Three tens means 30 plus how many ones? Zero. Now we are the number 29 represented by this abacus. We are going to add another one here. Can we add a ring here? Can't. When we add another ring, what will happen? It will jump to 10th place and this will give us no value that means 0. Now what is the number represented by this abacus? Yes 10th place 3, 1 place 0, number 30. Okay. Uh, now we learn one digit numbers. Now see after 9 we learn 10 from 10 to number 99 you can write 
89 numbers in between 10 and 99 okay then we call this as we introduce these numbers as two digit numbers why do we call these numbers as two digit numbers because these numbers has two digits two places one place and the tenth place how many numbers you can write you can actually if you write properly you can write 89 numbers under two digit numbers here yeah? uh, the smallest number under two digit numbers smallest number is number 10 the biggest number is number 99 under one digit numbers biggest number is number 9 under two digit numbers biggest number is 99 shall we represent 99 on the abacus first we will spread number 99 when we spread number 99 there are two places one place and the tenth place how many are there in the tenth place nine nine into ten means ninety plus how many are there in the one place nine then now we are going to represent number 99 on the abacus right how many tens nine tens one two three four five six seven eight nine okay then how many uh, ones there nine ones okay one two three four five six seven eight nine okay now look at the abacus shall we write the number name how many tens nine tens how many ones 99 now we have represented number 99 on the abacus okay then we are moving to the other part we are going to add one to number 99 what will be the number and it's number 100 shall we add another ring to here can't if we add another ring to here all will jump to 100 place that is 100 then what will happen to these these all jump to 100 place these values goes to yeah zero now shall we write the number name represented by this abacus how many hundreds one hundreds how many tens zero how many ones zero now hundred is represented by this abacus okay now today for today you learn a good lesson you learn about one digit numbers how many one digit numbers you know 10 one digit numbers largest number under one digit is number nine then after that you learn two digit numbers from 10 to number 99 if you write properly according to order you can write 89 numbers 10 is the smallest number number 99 is the largest number okay then we represented 100 i think you learn a good lesson under numbers that is part one i hope to do another lesson as part two uh, if you need to follow these lessons properly according to the order you have to uh, subscribe subscribe or press the bell then you will get all the lessons according to the order i think you will you got a good understanding the numbers